We have ignition and we have liftoff. The start of a journey that would take Voyager 1 to the very edge of our solar system and beyond. Farther into the solar system than ever before. The spacecraft is now the first human-made object to have left the vicinity of our sun and entered a completely new region of space. This is the man who's led Voyager's scientific mission from the beginning, 36 years ago. He says its step into interstellar space ranks among humanity's greatest achievements. This is one of those journeys of exploration, like circumnavigating the globe for the first time or having a footprint on the moon the first time. This is the first time we have been exploring now, begin to explore uh, this new region of space, interstellar space. In the days before the World Wide Web, people packed into planetariums to watch Voyager's images come in. Seen for the first time in incredible detail, the red spot of Jupiter, a raging storm three times the size of Earth on the planet's surface. These images of Saturn's shimmering rings inspired a generation and a look back to see how far the spacecraft has come. The Earth, a pale blue dot in the middle of the screen. Voyager then continued its journey past the planets of our solar system. As it travelled, it was bombarded by particles from the Sun, something scientists call the solar wind. But the further it went, the quieter the wind became. Until last year, it passed a point that the wind from the Sun stopped. And it began to feel the thin gas particles that lies between the stars, the breeze of interstellar space. This was the point it had passed the edge of our solar system. Hello from the children of planet Earth. On board is a golden disc with sounds and images of life on Earth. And on the back of the disc, directions to our world, just in case an advanced alien civilization comes across it. The possibility of life at another planetary system someplace is very high. There's just so many uh, planetary systems. I think eventually you have life and probably intelligent life. Now, whether they'll ever actually run across Voyager, that's hard to say, but it's, I think it's a great idea. Voyager will study interstellar space for 10 years or so until its batteries die out. But after that, its mission will continue for thousands, if not millions of years, as an emissary of human civilization. Palab Ghosh, BBC News.